Thank you. Uh, uh, good morning, and, and I'm really excited to be here because I am an ODK. And I'm at University of Memphis, and I was initiated in, in 2014. And when Dr. Singer called me and asked me if I'd come speak about leadership, I said, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to speak to young people about what we do in, our, in my world. And my world is, is a really interesting world because our worlds are connected, because you are the future of us. And without you in leadership roles and leadership positions, things don't really happen. So I began my career, as I said, I went to Notre Dame, I studied for the priesthood, I was a member of the Holy Cross Fathers, I left the priesthood in 85, and began a career in athletics, coaching, what have you. But most of it was about is being connected with young people, young men and young women. And I have 377 people between the ages of 18 and 22 that I'm responsible for every day, every single day. My phone went off this morning, another one of my young people. Those are all the student athletes that I recruited, we brought to the University of Memphis. The same was true when I was at, at San Jose State for nine years, and the same was true when I was at Cal, St. Mary's College. And I began this process when I was the athletic director at De La Salle High School. Probably saw the movie When the Game Stood Tall. Yes, no, not sure, okay. So the high school that won 155 football games in a row. Okay, I was the athletic director nine years, but what we really were, we were about building a culture of champions. Nobody wakes up and says, I'm gonna lead today. Oh, I'm gonna be a leader today. It's 8.35, I gotta be a leader till 10 o'clock, then I get to be a non-leader, I'll be a follower till noon, then at two o'clock I'll be a leader again, I'll be a, I'll be a follower at 5.30, and then I'll go to, so we, we don't do that. Okay, so it has to become a core value. It has to be, it has to be who you are. So <clears throat> when you create a culture of champions, the byproduct is winning. Create a culture of pretenders, and the byproduct is losing. So the dynamic is to not be a pretender. So the core value of you has to be that every day this is who I am. The intrinsic part of me is, the, is that I lead myself, my family, my heart, and I show it every day. So every day, we teach our student athletes. We taught our guys in the NFL, taught the guys at St. Mary's College, at Cal, De La Salle High School. United, we can defeat anyone. So last year, we went 8-0. I was ranked 13th in the country in the college football playoff when it first came out. University of Memphis. When I got there, they were, they'd won two games in four years. A 60,000-seat stadium. We had 2,000 season ticket holders. We had people that didn't come, and we were bad. I mean, we were, we were bad. Still, athletes, kids have been recruited. We came and changed the culture. 2016, people are talking about the University of Memphis. I had 55,000 people come to the Navy game, 60,000 people came to the Ole Miss game, 50,000 people came to Cincinnati. We won two back, we've had two back-to-back -back nine-win seasons. Okay? That's just one, that's just one piece of this. And I, sh I share that with you because I think all we did was change how we perceived our responsibility as leaders. I got the same stadium, same weight room, <laughs> the same uniform, same television, same city, same university. And it's infectious. If, if I had to build it every day by myself, I would fail. If you have to rely on you to become great, you'll fail. That's hard. In academics, that's a weird, I mean, and, and I would tell you that collectively, the more that you become engaged with the world and with other people and all that you do, your greatness is, unt is untapped. You, 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 could be, you could be anybody. Be great because of how you treat other people and that greatness will follow you the rest of your life. Be a maker of difference in the lives of others and you'll have a great life of difference you've never, ever imagined. Thank you. God bless.